Hi, this is Tara Reed. I'm an artist and a fabric designer for Riley Blake Designs. And today I want to give you a tutorial about how quick and easy it is to make these microwave bowl cozies. These things are wonderful. It's a built in pot holder. You just grab it by the corners. You put whatever you're going to be microwaving in here goes right into the microwave like that, comes out, you're not gonna burn yourself. They're also great for ice cream, so hot or cold, whatever you want. Do it like this, just pick a pattern that you like and do it plain, or if you wanna get fancier, as long as you do the square, you can do any quilt block that you want if you want it to look a little bit more interesting. So this is how that would look with the bowl in it. It just gives a little more variety. So let's get started and I'll show you just how quick and easy they are to stitch up. All right, so here's what you need for this project. You need two pieces of fabric for the front and the back, and they will be reversible, cut into 10 inch squares. And then you need two pieces of 100% cotton batting. It's really, really important that everything be 100% cotton. So no fabrics with sparkle, with gold, with silver, no metallic threads, nothing. You want 100% cotton thread, and I usually use Gutermans just because it's really easy to find. Their cotton thread has this color, this orangey yellow color on the spool, whereas the ones that are white are polyester. But most um, threads will say what they're made of. You want cotton so that it will not melt or catch fire. So once you have those, what you're gonna do to begin is you're going to take each piece of batting and you're just gonna draw a line diagonally in both directions. And I just use a Sharpie. It gives an easy line. You can use chalk, you can use a fabric pen. Um, it's gonna be on the inside, so it really doesn't matter. And this is easy for you to see on a video. So you're gonna do that on both of your um, pieces of batting. And then you're gonna put your fabrics right side down and then layer the batting on top. And then you're gonna take it to the sewing machine and stitch along these lines and do that for both pieces. And then I will show you how to make the darts. Okay, now that you've stitched on that diagonal line that you just drew, we're going to do the markings to create the darts that are in the side so that it will give the bowl the shape. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do with the fabric right side together, you're gonna to fold it in half and then you're gonna line it up on, on the ruler or you can do markings. So you're gonna basically go on the short end, turn that the right way. You're gonna go one inch. And then when you're going on the long way on the folded edge, you're gonna go down two inches. So I'm just gonna do a mark. Or as you can see, I can save a little bit of time if I just Look at the lines on my cutting mat, if you have a cutting mat like that. So you're over one from the corner and down two. And you're just gonna draw a line. And then you're gonna do that on the opposite side as well, which, let's see, over one, down two, draw that. And then I'm going to put a pin in that. And then you're gonna take it back to the sewing machine and sew these two. Okay, so now that I sewed these two dart lines, I'm gonna take the pins out. And you see when I open that up, that's starting to create the bowl shape. But we don't want a bunch of extra bulk in there. So you can use your rotary cutter or just take your scissors and trim this corner to about a quarter inch. And you're gonna throw that part away. Now you're gonna open it up and you're gonna fold it in half again so that you can do these dart lines on the opposite side. Obviously it doesn't fold as flat because you have darts here. So just do one side at a time. Make that corner flat, do your markings, two inches down towards the center and one inch over along the top edge. Then connect those two points. Ow, banged my head to plop a pin on there. And then do the same on the opposite side. One inch on the open, 
two inches down on the folded edge towards the center. Draw a line to connect it. Pin. And then back to the sewing table to sew these two darts. Do the same procedure with each side. You're going to sew across and then put the four darts in each side of your bowl cozy. And now you're going to turn one of them inside out, doesn't matter which. Put the fabric right sides together and we're going to clip it so that we can sew this together. So it's pretty easy, you got lots of stuff to match and I'm a big fan of these clips, especially for this project. But you can use pins as well. You're gonna line up the dart seams and, and that is a bit of thickness there as you can see. So I usually try and have one go to one side and one to the other side. So it's a little bit less thick when you're sewing and turning it right side out. So I just go around, and clip, clip the darts and clip the points. Sometimes you're just adjusting fabric a little bit to let all these edges line up. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the rest on the sewing machine. We're gonna sew all the way around, leaving an area about like this open for turning. You don't wanna leave it right on a corner, like on an outside corner on, or on a dart, because that makes it a little bit harder once you flip it. So I usually try and go maybe an inch from the dart and an inch from the corner. All right, so if you have a walking foot, you wanna use that because you are sewing together four layers, two layers of cotton fabric, two layers of cotton batting. So if you don't have a walking foot, it might slide a little bit. So you're gonna to need to guide it with your hands. And again, because we wanna leave that opening between a dart and an outside corner, I usually start about an inch, inch and a half from the outside corner. And I use about a three eighths of an inch seam allowance. So this is a quarter inch foot. So I just go a little bit from the edge. So I'm gonna start by knotting it. We're just going to sew around and one beautiful thing about these different lines is it tells you exactly where you need to turn your foot you're going to stop on those corner seams and start again and you're going to go straight and then put your needle down again on the so the stitching line for the dart lift your foot and then pivot so that you're sewing lots of nice flat straight sections and not trying to curve. So now I'm at my last dart and you'll see I started here. So I'm gonna again lift my foot and pivot it. And I'm just gonna sew about an inch because I need something open for flipping. And then instead of just knotting, I'm gonna go backwards and forwards and then knot. So that it's gonna be a little bit more secure. Well, I didn't uncut that. Um, a little bit more secure when I go to to turn it. And I didn't do that at the beginning, so I'm just gonna do a quick. Reinforcing that. Because that's a pretty small hole to be turning this from. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim these corners, making sure not to trim the stitching. And then we're just gonna turn it right side out through this hole. And this is why you had to reinforce. So the trick is to get this turned right side out right away to put less pressure on that edge seam, if that makes sense. So 
try and get that flipped like that and then just push everything through and pull it out as you go. Sometimes it's easier to get it started with your fingers. And then don't forget the one that is right by your turning turning hole. All these clips out of the way. So now it kind of looks like a mess and you're basically just going to take your fingers and shape it. So see that's getting it more into the shape that we want. And then you gotta get this part turned under where your opening was. And I usually do clip that. Cause I don't like to start right on that spot when I'm doing the top stitching around. And now you're just going to go around again. And this is pretty thick cause now you have a little bit of a seam and all these layers of fabric, but it really makes it hold its shape. So you're gonna top stitch around it about a quarter inch all the way around the edge. And that is all there is to it. Now we have a great bowl cozy. You can have that side up or that side up. These make great gifts. One Christmas, I just cut a bunch of squares, sewed, I just did an assembly line and I made about 15 in a few hours and people just love them. So I hope this video tutorial helps. And again, I have written instructions that you can grab as well with lots of pictures. And if you make and share them on social media, be sure to tag me. I am on Instagram at artist Tara Reed or on Facebook. I have a business page, Tara Reed Designs.